In this next video, let's take a look at the mixer section. Now the mixer section has been completely redone. A big change, a big update, is that the programs are now audio channels. Before we jump in, let me just show you what I've got going on here. I have a factory sequence and a factory program loaded up called Bounce. Sounds something like this. Okay. And my second track, I have a key group with a tom sample loaded. We just grab some pitches from that if we want to. So now that we have a pattern or a sequence going here and we want to mix it, we can go over to our program mixer. And you'll notice we have all of our pads lined up here and we can mix those independently. We also have our program over here that we can mix. Very easy way to access the volume of our program and all of our other mix parameters. We can even show and hide this program strip by clicking right here. Hide it, show it. This is also where we can insert effects for this program or use the sends. In the software, it's as easy as using this drop down menu and picking from our plugins here. Let's jump over to the hardware and take a look at inserting an effect on a program. So here we are in program mix mode. Now this all controls our pads. So our level of our pads, the panning of our pads, the insert of our pads, etc. If we want to add an insert onto our program itself, we have to go into track mix mode, double click and we can get into track mix mode. And now we have our inserts for all of our tracks. We can cycle through them by clicking F5. So the first one, we have track one selected. Let's insert a compressor. Select, and there it is. We have a compressor loaded on our program. And if we hit window, we can pull up all the parameters for that plugin. And of course it pulled up on the hardware unit as well as the software. If I wanna get rid of that plugin, it's as simple as dialing again and going all the way up to none. And remember we can hold shift and go up and down by 10 as well. Select, and now there's no insert on that program. We can of course do the same thing with our master track here. Double click on it to get to effects. Here are all of our sends. Let's say we want to create a reverb. All right, so now we have a reverb send on our master track. We can send any program to. We'll come back to that in just a second. We can also, of course, create inserts on our master track, just the same way as we did before. So let's go back to our send. Go to track mix to see our program. And now we can turn up our send. We have the first one selected, and now we can just turn it up. If we jump back over to the software, we can see that we have our large reverb on our master send effects here. We can also see our send level from track mix mode. So same thing right here. And notice as we update on the software, of course, it's gonna update on the hardware as well. And now we can do the exact same thing with key groups. We switch to track two, we have our toms, go to track mix, and now have our second track selected and we can send to reverb. We can also insert an effect directly onto that key group, exactly the same way. In the software, we have the same program mixer on the very right in program mix mode. All right, let's jump back to track one. Now pads route to the program by default and we can see that here. We have program selected. Now when we insert an effect on a pad, it doesn't break that routing. We don't have to worry about subgroups and all that fun stuff. Maybe that clap. And from our software, it's as simple again, it's dropping down and selecting an effect from our list here. And on the hardware, we just go to Program Edit, select the pad that we want to insert that effect on. Does that clap? And now we could insert effect number two. Of course, selecting Window pulls up the interface and all of the parameters for that plugin. Now, in Program Edit on the software, we have a nice little interface as well. We can access those pad inserts and those program inserts directly from program edit. 
It's really nice we don't have to jump back and forth to add or edit effects. All right, back to main mode here. Main mode also allows us to control the program mix and the inserts and sends. So basically, no matter where you are in the software, you have intuitive access to the mix parameters and inserts and sends. All right, back to our hardware. Let's go to program mix, and then we'll go to level. Now here we have the mixer showing the whole dB or a fraction of that dB for very fine control. So let's say we want to mix pad one. We can step it up or down in whole dB increments, or we can have a lot of fine-tuned control and have a fraction of that dB. Not only can we use the wheel, we can also just type in the value that we want. All right, back to the software. So our mixers now have additional headroom. We have 6 dB of gain. And this is for our pads. We can pull us up to plus 6 dB here. We also have this headroom in our programs here. We also have it for our metronome here and our master volume here. All of the sliders now show dB readouts. When we're adjusting, we can see exactly what level they're at visually. And our meters also show a dB readout with peak and hold. Here's the level of our peak here down at the bottom. And we can visually see where that peak is as well. Another great addition is the ability to reset all of these things. On a Mac, I can hold Option and click. On Windows, I can hold Alt and click. And now I can reset both the level, the peak, the simple click. I don't have to hold Option or Alt. I can do this on a fader for pads, on my track, my master volume here, reset it to zero, and my metronome. So I brought down my track volume here. I can reset the peak level. and figure out if I'm clipping in the red or not. I also have that headroom in the sample audition as well. We can turn it up 6 dB or bring it back to Unity by alt clicking or option clicking. Another nice enhancement to the mixer section is that we have a red box indicating what is selected. So here we have the first pad selected. This also works for programs. So here we can see the first program selected. It also works for pads we can see which pad is selected. And that's it as far as the mixer section. Stay tuned and in the next video, we'll go over some software workflow enhancements. I'll see you then.